All right, guys, welcome to our new house. Whoa, this place looks awesome. I know, right? And guys, check out the inside. I may have done a little decorating. Yo, you got our gamer station set up. Yep, we got the gaming setups. We got the yellow one for you, Kim. We got the magenta one for you, Ruby. And we've even got a purple one over here. Wait, what are we waiting for? Let's just start gaming now. Ooh, let's do it. But wait, guys, I haven't installed any games yet. We don't really have any game installed. Oh, it's no problem. Just install some Roblox. I'm hopping on. Wait, wait, guys, hold on. Let's play later. First, I want to show you guys a tour of the house check it out if you follow me back over here we kind of have our very own pool in the back whoa this is awesome not as cool as my rgb keyboard but still awesome wait does this work whoa hey, yep the diving board works whoa you are getting a lot of bounce over there hold on check it out i'm about to jump higher than the ceiling let's go come on let's go let's go all right here we go i'm about to make a big splash three two one Boom! 360! That was sick. Well, I want to try it. Ready? Boom! 360! Whoa, that was pretty cool, but I think Dash's was the best. All right, all right. But anyways, what do you guys think of the house so far? Do you like it? It's all right. Uh, where's our bedrooms? And Oh, oh well, uh, about that, we don't really have any bedrooms in the house right now, but we do kind of have one secret chick. Let me go ahead and flick this lever real quick and check it out, guys. We've got a secret basement. Wait, what? That's so cool. We got our own gaming lounge down here. Check it out. We got a mini fridge, a TV, and everything. This place is sick. This fridge opens and closes. Look. Yep, check it out. We got some ice cubes and cake in there. The toaster works. Yo, let's go. Yeah, you can pop your toast out. It's pretty sick, isn't it? That's awesome. And look at this fridge. It is filled with great things. Yep, I got a bunch of important food in here. Hello, is anyone home? Hello. And wait, hold on, guys. I think we just got someone at the door. Hello, who's there? I hope it's our new neighbors. Uh, hello, uh, open the door. Let me in. Oh, uh, hi. Wait, guys, uh, this is the guy who sold me the house. Hello there, what's up? Uh, what's up? Uh, yeah, I've got some bad news. And Wait, bad news? Well, what happened? Uh, you haven't made enough money this month. Wait, what What, what, what do you mean? Uh, I'm saying that you're too broke to afford this house, so uh, you're going to have to get out. And wait, 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 wait. What? You're, you're kicking me out of my new house, but I just bought this place. Yeah. Well, we checked your bank account and literally a tumbleweed fell out and started rolling around. What? How is that even possible? Dash, did you not pay rent? Dash, how are you so broke? And don't you have a job? Guys, I spent all my money on those gaming setups, okay? I thought the house was going to be cheaper. Well, tough cookie. So, uh, you need to get out. And, oh, no. Okay, well, guys, uh, I'm sorry. I just showed you guys this new place, but it, it seems like we uh, got to get out. Wait, hold on. Are there any, like, cheaper houses on the block that I can rent? Uh, I mean, we could take a look, but I'm pretty sure you can't afford it. And wait, what? Okay, hold on. What about this one over here? It looks like it's up for sale. And, oh, uh, wait. It costs 128 diamonds. Uh, do any of you guys have 128 diamonds? No. I have two cobwebs. Oh, no. Okay, wait, wait. Hold on. Are there any other ones? Uh, well, there's this uh, uh, four-bedroom house down here for 450. And, what? 450? That one's even more expensive. Okay, okay, wait. What about that one over there? I see another sign. Ooh, that one looks pretty good. If 128's out of your price range, you really can't live in this neighborhood. Oh, no. 250? Okay, okay. Well, come on. Uh, there's got to be, like, some house that we can afford. Is there any other other houses around here that maybe, you know, we, we could buy? Mm, let me think. Um, I, I'm not too sure. <gasps> wait, I've got an idea. There's this one plot I've been trying to sell for years. And wait, wait, what? There, there is? Yeah, yeah, just follow me. Follow me this way. Wait, is it a good spot even? Oh, it's in the perfect spot. Great view. Uh, the school nearby and everything. You know, all, all the jazz. Uh, right exactly here. Yeah, five and, diamonds. Uh, wait a minute. W where's the house? Well, that's the thing. It's just the land, so you gotta build a house. Forget that. There's no land at all. And wait, what? It's on top of the water as well? Uh, Dash, it looks like this is all we can afford, though. And Oh, gosh. Yeah, you're kind of right. Wait, hold on. We have five diamonds, right? Do you, any of you guys have diamonds? Uh, I've got two on me right now. I've got, like, one. Wait, hold on. Let me take a look at how many I've got, and <gasps> I've got two. That's the perfect amount. Okay, okay. Everyone, give your diamonds to the house seller guy. We we'll take this one. All right. Thank you so much for your money. Uh, I will see you later. Oh, wow. He left pretty quickly. Yeah, wait. I think he was pretty eager to get this plot off his hands but anyways guys check it out we are now the new proud owners of this plot of land but now uh, we, we kind of got to do a little bit of work we got to build our own house on it uh, i think you mean plot of c yeah i was about to say there's not really land here but hey guys we can still make something good out of this all we got to do is just start building our house so uh how about we build it underneath the water it can be pretty cool oh <gasps> guys why don't we build it out of some glass wait glass how are we gonna do that pretty much we 
can make like a big glass dome and then guys we can even build our gaming rooms down here this place could be even better than our old house wait that actually might be sick hold on i, I i'm going with dash on this okay let's build kind of fast though because i can't breathe under here all right all right but hold on a minute this house is actually gonna be awesome we'll be able to see like all the fishies from down here wait i didn't know you liked fish that much dash hey i don't like them that much but wouldn't it be cool to see all of the fish and dolphins swimming around that would be pretty cool like mid gaming and then you know there's a giant whale above you i don't know about whale we're kind of in shallow water right now but a, a dolphin could be cool and cam i think we kind of got this wall misaligned yeah i think i was going for something different and you were going for something different okay hold on let me go ahead and break this wall over here and then we just got to go ahead and round off this wall over here to look nice boom there we go now we just got to go ahead and raise up the walls i'm already working on it over here but uh i hope there's wi-fi down here oh yeah wait a minute that's a good question hold on is there gonna be wi-fi down here are we gonna get wi-fi underneath the water i don't know maybe what if like the water like boosts the signal and makes it like 10 times as strong why would the water boost the signal how does that even work i don't know i'm throwing ideas bro all right well i guess we'll find out once we build the gaming setups but here for now let's just go ahead and continue this roof we gotta build the walls a little bit higher just like this and then guys let's go ahead and build a big dome on top of this roof that we've got a dome okay yeah this is gonna be like a reverse fish tank this is gonna look awesome okay let's build it this way like that is this right yep just like that we gotta build one layer going up with glass just like this and then we gotta build another layer on top of that like this oh yeah this is looking awesome already yep let's go this is literally a reverse fish tank right now we're like under the water building a tank for humans oh wait there's already wildlife i just seen turtles flying by yo wait hold on although i don't think they're flying down here cam i think that that would be called swimming uh potato tomato well, flying and swimming are very different things uh well I'm not gonna listen to you anymore. All right, but anyways, guys, I think we should start finishing off the roof here. Let's just go ahead and start making it flat now. This should look pretty good. Ready, I'll get this side. All right, all right, here. Let me go far away and see how it looks. And <gasps> yo, wait, this place actually looks awesome. It literally looks like a dome. Okay, okay, now let's just go ahead and finish off the roof real quick and then head inside. And wait, hold on. Why do we have these doors down here? Uh, for air, temporarily, anyways. Oh, yeah, fair enough. I guess these doors give us a little air bubble. But, guys, we're going to need a lot more air than just that. If we want to make this place livable, what we got to do is grab a few sponges. And it's time to sponge this place up. Let's go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. Let's go. Let's go. We got to sponge up all this water. All right. Let's see here. I'm going to put this right here and right here. Come on. Come on. We got to beat the water. We got to place our sponges before the water can, like, respawn. And, okay, there we go. I, I, I think we got all of it. Oh, we kind of made a mess. I think we did, too. And, oh, uh, wait. Yeah, we kind of did make a mess. We have a bunch of sponges now instead of water. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of these sponges. Okay, wait. Should we keep a couple of them, like, around here along the wall just in case? What, 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 in case of what? I don't know. Like a barricade of sponges? Uh, maybe not a barricade, but I'm just scared that there might be leaks. Oh, no, no, no. We don't have any leaks. It's all good. As you can see right now, there is no water leaking in. But anyways, now that we got the walls done, the next thing to do is make the floor. And <gasps> guys, okay, I have a cool idea. Why don't we make the floor looking all slanted like this? We can have the floor not be flat and then we could have like a downstairs area down there oh, okay that sounds pretty sweet to me yeah yeah here let's just go ahead and replace all of the sand over here with a little bit of wood and then let me grab a few wood slabs and we can put those down right over here to make it look like a little staircase okay how does this look so far this looks pretty sick i'm gonna put some slabs over here all right all right and guys what i'm thinking down over here we could have like a staircase that goes down even deeper into the ocean and then we could have more rooms oh yeah wait the how big of a plot of land is this? Like, do we get the whole ocean? There's no, like, borders. I don't know. I mean, there's no one else living down here, so we probably just get, like, a lot of space. Yeah, I don't think that house seller's gonna swim all the way down here anyway. All right, all right, but anyways, the floor is looking pretty good. We just gotta put down a few more slabs over here like this, and then we gotta change these last few blocks into a little bit of wood, and boom! There we go. The base of the house is now complete. Doesn't this place look sick? This place looks awesome, but, uh, what are we gonna put in next and okay okay guys i think the first thing we should probably rebuild is our gaming setups we gotta bring our gaming setups down here oh yeah uh, should we make a room for that or should we just put them anywhere oh no no we gotta put them over here in the main room this has to be the gaming room and you know what dibs on building mine over here on this side uh, i guess i'll build mine uh, along this wall looking at nothing uh i'll put mine over here all right that works but anyways i'm about to build the craziest gaming setup ever here i need to find a 
cool table to put mine on. And oh, wait a minute. I think I know what table I'm going to use. I'm going to use this rainbow table over here. Yo, check it out. It's like changing colors as well. It's like the ultimate gaming table. What the heck is that? What? It's a rainbow table. Have you ever seen a rainbow table before? No. Wait, I think that looks awesome. It looks sick. Okay, okay. Hold on. Next thing I need is a chair. So let's see. What type of chairs are we working with here? Yo, wait a minute. Hold on. This one's got like eyes on it and a mouth. What? Why would you want your chair to have eyes? <laughs> what? I, I don't really know. It's called a purple froggy chair. I don't think I really want to use that one. Yeah, you think? Okay, well, hold on a minute. What other types of chairs do we got? We got the crimson chair. This one looks pretty cool. Pretty plain looking chair. Are there any other types of chairs that we can use? Like a gaming chair? And ooh, wait, hold on. These ones have a little bit of cushioning on the back. These ones seem kind of cool. Uh, let me take a look at this one real quick. And okay, okay. Hmm, which one is more comfortable? Which one should I use? I think I'm gonna go with this one. This one looks cooler, honestly. And what? You can punch it? What? It's got health? Oh, oh. It, it, I guess it's alive. That's kind of cool. Yo, guys, my chair is alive. Check it out. Oh, okay, wait. Hold on a minute. I think I'm just gonna go with this other one. It's got wool on it. It's probably more comfortable anyways. All right, but anyways, the next thing I need for my gaming setup is a screen. So, let me go ahead and just search for monitors real quick and... Oh, yo, wait. Gaming monitor curved? Hold on a minute. This thing looks sick. Yo, it's like three different monitors. I think that's enough monitors. And, uh, oh, it came... Why, why do you have floating monitors in your setup? What? Oh, it's so I can get the best view of everything while I'm gaming. Uh, oh, what? Uh, I, I don't think you need this many monitors. You've already got this giant one down here. Uh, I actually was thinking about getting more. What the? Oh, no. Wait, you too, Ruby? You got two? Just two? What? Okay, okay, fine. I guess two is fine, but hold on a minute. I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have one monitor, and then I'm gonna have one TV on top of it for, like, watching videos and stuff. Let me go ahead and pull up this TV real quick and just put that down right over there. Yo, that's looking sick. Well, let me get a wall mount on one of these so it looks a little bit nicer. There we go. Yo, this actually looks awesome. Okay, and I'll just uh, put this right here. And wait, wait, what did you put down? Did you put down a cake? Oh, is that a cupcake? Yeah, it's a snack for later. Ooh, wait, that's pretty cool, but wait, wait, hold on, Ruby. What you gotta do is use a mini fridge instead of just having the snacks out in the open. Then you could, like, fit a bunch of them inside. Oh, true. I'm gonna put a lot of cupcakes in here. Ooh, all right, all right, here. I'm definitely gonna put down a mini fridge in my setup as well. I'm just gonna put that down right over there. There we go. And, uh, Cam, why is your space so big compared to mine? Uh, I don't know. I'm just, uh, I, uh, just building stuff. And, oh, wait, yeah, Cam, I think you're taking a bit of space. How how about you move your setup a little bit this way, and then Ruby can move hers this way as well. Oh, you can just destroy this. I don't need that. Okay, and now this is mine, and now this is mine, too. All right, all right, but anyways, now the next thing I need for my setup is an actual device to, you know, game on. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, extend my table a little bit, and then put down this gaming computer right over here. Hold on, actually, wait, I think I can get a better gaming computer. Let me just look around real quick, and <gasps> yo, I can get this one. This one looks way cooler. Check it out! Wait, what is that? My big gaming computer. Computer. It's so big. It's like half my size. Yeah, that's crazy. This thing is huge. But anyways, is there any other stuff that I'm gonna need while gaming? Um, let's see. I guess I can probably grab a keyboard and a mouse setup. Let me just grab this keyboard over here. It looks pretty cool. And uh, I'll just put that down there for now. Yo, it's like changing colors and stuff. That looks sick. Ooh, wait, I guess I'll probably need a microphone as well. Let me grab a mic and put that over there. Um, okay, actually, that's probably not very good. It's behind my monitor. But if I use this mic over here, uh, okay, that, that, that's kind of going through my monitor. Okay, I think I'm just gonna stick with this red one. Okay, let's see. What gaming PC do I want? Oh, this one looks good. I'll just go with this one. Wait, Cam, which one are you going for? Yo, wait, hold on. Your setup looks crazy. What the heck? You have a ring light? What? Yeah, I've got a whole streamer setup over here. You got a floating camera. What? What, what is this wizardry? Uh, it's just normal stuff, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, okay, but you gotta be careful with this setup. If you accidentally knock over one monitor, all of this tower of monitors is gonna come toppling down. No, no, it's fine. This is just my streamer room. Okay, okay, if you say so. But anyways, is there any other thing that I need inside of my setup? Hmm, let me see. Yo, wait, hold on. You wanna know what you guys should put in your gaming setups? Uh, what? Oh, uh, what? You guys should both put some plastic granules in your setups. What? Pla what now? Plastic granules. It'll make your gaming PC way faster. Uh, are you supposed to put this in your PC? I don't know about this, Dash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just put that in your PC. It'll make it way faster. But anyways, I think my gaming setup is about done. What about you guys? Oh, yeah. I think mine's finished. Yeah, I just put down some books and I'm ready now. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Hold on. Let's take a tour of each other's gaming setups. Yours is looking pretty good, Ruby. You got the double monitors over here. You got the mic. Very nice, very nice. Yep, and I have like a little bit of a soundbar thing going on, though it's not finished being 
景的。All right, and whoa, wait, what is this over here? Are these lamps? Yeah, it's lamps and it's leaves, just to relax. What the? You got a whole stack of them. Yeah, don't you like them? I mean, it, it, it looks kind of cool, but uh, anyways, hold on. Let's take a look at Cam's setup. This area is pretty cool as well. Yep, I've got my PS5 next to my custom-built PC and my current monitor and my uh, amazing webcam. And I got my ring light, my other monitors, and I got my streamer microphone. This is a lot, Cam. Yeah, okay, you got so much stuff here, Cam. This is gonna drive the electricity bill so up. My neck hurts looking up. Yeah, wait, how are you even supposed to view that TV? You gotta, like, bend your neck all the way up. Yeah, well, I mean, the, the, the no pain, no gain, as they say. Huh? Well, I don't think that's very healthy for you, but anyways, you guys, check out my setup. This is probably the most uh, average-looking setup here. You know, it's pretty simple. We got the curved monitor over here. We got the PC, and we've even got a TV up here for, you know, in case you want to watch a movie or something. I like your tables, and I like how small your chair is. Oh, yeah, my chair is kind of small. I couldn't find any bigger one, but, yep, my tables are also awesome. They're RGB. That's super cool. Let's go. But anyways, guys, now that we got all of the gaming setups done, I think we should probably build some other stuff inside of this house as well. We can't just have this be only a gaming setup. We got to have, like, a kitchen and all that sort of stuff. That's true. I kind of miss our old secret entrance that we had, too. And, yeah. <gasps> Wait a minute, guys. Why don't we rebuild that old secret entrance from the old house in here? Wait, do you remember how it was built? And, uh, I think I could figure it out, but... Okay, where should we build it? We can have, like, a staircase going down somewhere again. What about over here? I think it makes the most sense to be right here, yeah. All right, all right, but hold on. We don't really have a lot of room there. Um, oh, wait, actually, why don't we have it right over here? Okay. Ooh, all right, this is gonna look awesome. All right, all right, well, here, the first step in building a secret entrance is clearing out a bunch of space. We gotta clear out a bunch of space for the room that we're gonna build. Okay, I'm on my way down. All right, here, we just gotta break a bunch of blocks down over here. We gotta clear out a bunch of space for this room. Well, yeah, I'll start mining out this way. How big do we want it. Oh, wait, guys. We gotta build this room even bigger than the last hidden room. We gotta make it an upgrade. Um, okay. We can try to make it better, though that last room was pretty sweet, though. It was alright, but we can definitely make something better. Here, let's just clear out a bunch of space for now. Well, this room is already getting bigger than that last room. Alright, we're almost done clearing this out. And alright, this room is looking sick! But anyways, now that we got all of this space cleared out, the next step is to actually build the hidden entrance. So, let me go ahead and grab a few wooden stairs real quick, and let's just go ahead and place those down right over here like this. Ooh, all right, I'm watching. Okay, well, we have the stairs, but how do I make it so it opens and closes? Well, good question. For that part, what we need to do is grab a command block. So let me just run the command slash give myself a command block. Boom, there we go. And let's just go ahead and put down the command block uh, right over here. Let's put it in the corner. Are we just gonna have a command block out in the open like that? Yeah, yeah, we can have the command block over here. That way we can all open and close the door. Uh, all right. Oh, I see. That's pretty convenient. Yep. But anyways, now the next thing we need to do is put a lever on top of it. And then I need to go get a command. Let me just go ahead and grab a slash fill command. We need to do slash fill from this block all the way over here to this block and set it into some oak planks. Boom. There we go. And now let me just go inside of this command block and paste it in. And uh, uh, why, why is there a puffer fish on our command block? Uh, it's a good design, ain't it? I mean, it, <laughs> I, I guess it looks kind of cool, but hold on a minute. There's one change we have to make to this command. We have to change the oak planks part into air. Check it out. Now, if we go ahead and flick the command block, boom, the door is gonna open up. Isn't that awesome? Yo, that's sick. Yup, this thing is sick. Whoa, this looks awesome. Let's go. But anyways, now that we got the hidden entrance done, guys, we gotta decorate this place. Right now, this area looks ugly. Oh, yeah. This looks up uh, pretty bad. Yeah, this looks like a basement. Ooh, wait, I know what we should do for the walls. We should do like a copper design like this and make it look awesome. And ooh, I like that. That looks pretty ocean themed. All right, I, I guess we can give that a go. Oh, okay. Should I patch up the ceiling with more wood? It's kind of bumpy looking. And yeah, yeah, let's make the roof all flat looking. I think that could look nice. But anyways, I'll help with the wall over here. We just got to put down all of this copper stuff over here like this. Ooh, yeah, okay, this place is looking awesome. Well, that pattern is kind of cool. Yeah, it looks very ocean themed. I, oh, there's water over here. I, I think we're like next to a water cave. Hold on, let me just block this off. And wait, wait, hold on a minute. Instead of blocking it off, how about we fill it up with a little bit of glass? That way we can look outside into the water again. Oh, I'm sure, all right, but I mean, it's just a water cave. There's not much water out there. No, 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 trust me. It'll look cool. What if there's any, like, mobs coming by? Yeah, it'll help me feel a little more at home if I can see out a little bit. Yeah, check it out. Doesn't this look awesome? We got our little water corner over here. Oh, yeah, wait, huh? I think I can make it better. Wait, really? What's your idea? Let me grab some of this and then also some of that. And then I do some of this like that and then bam. And ooh, I 
see, I see. So trying to replicate the design on the wall over there. All right, I, I guess that's kind of cool. Here, I'm just going to go ahead and continue working on the wall over here. Okay, and I finished my part. Let's go, let's go. The roof is looking awesome. But anyways, guys, we've got one layer of stone above the walls that we haven't filled in yet. How about we just go ahead and fill those up with some wood? Ooh, all right. And to make it look a little bit different, let's use spruce wood. All right, all right. I guess we can use some spruce wood. Ooh, this is looking really snazzy. Okay, I'll fill that in over here. All right, and I think that's every... Oh, wait. Oh, wait, hold on a minute. I don't think we can use spruce wood because then it's going to, like, bleed out into the main house. Okay, let's just stick to oak wood. Yeah, I think you're right. Let's just replace all of this spruce into a little bit of oak. Oh, there we go. And, okay, this is looking sick. But hold on a minute, guys. We've got one last important decision we need to make. What do we set the floor into? Mm, I'm not sure. Do you have any ideas, kid? What about some command blocks? Wait, what? Command blocks look awesome. Check it no, out. not command blocks. They're off center and they look gross. They do not look gross. Look, they have like, a, 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 they're changing colors. They're, that's like the ultimate gamer block. These things look ugly. I don't want them as my floor. Yeah. And, uh, okay, okay. Fine, fine. If you guys don't like command blocks, I guess we can do something else. <gasps> what about some sandstone? Mm, sandstone looks pretty nice and it kind of fits with the ocean theme. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Since, you know, the bottom of the ocean is all made out of sand and stuff, sandstone should look sick. Okay, I'll change this corner to sandstone. Stone. All right, let's go here. I'll just fill in this wall over here. Let's go ahead and get rid of all of this old stone over here real quick. And we can put down all of this sandstone. Let's go. All righty. Ooh, I kind of like it. Yeah, this place is looking awesome. But anyways, it looks like the room is now complete. Let's go. But anyways, guys, what, what should we turn this room into? We could do like another gaming lounge room. But how about we do a kitchen instead? Ooh, ooh I've got an idea. What about uh this? Uh, what, uh, what is that? What? It's my whip. What in the world? Why are you driving? Having a pumpkin. Why is it got a smiley face in front of it? And what does that have to do with what we should build in this room? I don't know. I thought it was cool. That is not that cool. Okay, okay, hold on a minute. Well, 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 guys, let's just build a kitchen in this room. I think that'll be good because we're gonna need a place to eat and all that. All right, I know the first thing we should put in this kitchen. All right, all right, what is it? A cake oven! What? <laughs> a, a, a cake oven and ovens specifically for cakes? Okay. Yes, yeah, so we can make a bunch of sweets. <laughs> okay, okay. I guess we can have a cake oven, but let's also have a few normal ovens over here, you know, for uh, normal cooking. And hold on a minute, guys. We're also gonna need a refrigerator. Refrigerator. Let's put a refrigerator down over here like this. We can have two of them because there's three of us in this place. We're going to need a lot of extra food. Okay, well, let's put down some uh, furnaces too, just in case we need something a little extra. Ooh, yeah, yeah, good idea, good idea. Furnaces will be good, and then we'll also need a sink for, you know, washing our hands and all that, because washing your hands is pretty important. Let's just put down the sink right over there, and... Ooh, this is looking awesome. I think we need a couple of extra sinks, actually. Oh, all right. I, I guess just to make sure everyone washes their hands. But anyways, let's also put down a few of these cabinets over here. We could just have a few cabinets above the fridges like that. Ooh, these look sick. Look, they're blending in with our ceiling and walls. Ooh, wait, can I put one of these in the kitchen? And wait, what, what, what of... Whoa, what is that? My friend. Oh, it's so cute. Melon with legs. Wait, I kind of like him. Let's put a stack of them here. And wait, he has a friend, too. Can't forget about him. Yo! Oh, cute. Wait, let's just make another stack of pumpkins as well. It's like a totem pole. Yeah, I think that suits the kitchen because um, you eat watermelon and you eat pumpkins. Kind of morbid, isn't it? Yeah, this looks pretty fitting, but hold on a minute. Speaking about what you eat, guys, what are we going to put inside of the fridges and cabinets and all that? We got to find some good food. Oh, true. Um, I'm going to fill up this one. Wait, what are you going to fill it with? Let's see here. Hmm. Oh, cupcakes. Wait, what? Cupcakes? Just cupcakes? That's the only thing? Wait, why not? What? All cupcakes? Oh, no. That's kind of unhealthy. No, no, no. We need something better. You know, they're a little bit more healthy. Get these cupcakes out of here. I've got an idea. What about some plasma? Wait, what? Plasma? What the heck? Whoa, it's like changing colors and stuff. Plas Ew, take that out. I don't think we need plasma in there. I don't think that's even edible. That is so grody. It kind of looks like slime balls that are changing colors. Okay, guys, how about we start with some normal food? We can have a little bit of steak in there. Maybe some, ooh, baked potatoes. Ooh, let's put in some um, cooked mutton and beetroot soup. What about a stack of cream cheese? I guess that's normal food. Yeah, I guess that counts. I'll put in a little extra soup just because it's my favorite. What else should we put in? Uh, ooh, what about some glow berries, a few sweet berries? You know, we got to make sure to get our fruits in there. Oh, actually, wait, these are not fruits. They're, are they? They're just berries? I don't know. I think berries are fruits. Yeah. Oh, wait, speaking of fruits, let's get a few enchanted golden apples and all that, and also a few melons. Yo, Ruby, get that. Check this out. Look at what I found. <gasps> oh, my gosh, we have to put this in. And wait, wait, wait. Are you guys talking about something? What, what is that? Nothing. It's nothing. Yeah, it's nothing. Yeah, what are you talking about? Uh, uh, why, 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 why are you guys talking to the wall? What? Okay, and I'm going to fill it up. Go, 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 go. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Wait, wait, what are you guys putting in the fridges? And, oh, uh, did you guys just fill it up with candy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, fine. I guess if you guys want candy, we can have a little bit of that. But, hey, not in the fridges. 
Okay, candy doesn't need to be refrigerated. How about we just put that in the cabinets up here? Oh, good idea. All right, but anyways, we still got a little bit of fridge space left. What else do we put inside of here? We got to find the healthiest food ever. And, <gasps> yo, okay, what about some fish? We could have a little bit of that. Ooh, a little bit of bread. Why not? And uh, let's also have some cooked rabbit. Yeah. Let's just fill the rest up with chicken. Ooh, yeah, you're right. You're right, chicken. I forgot about that. Let's put a little bit of chicken in there as well. Boom, there we go. Now we got some chicken. Perfect. All right, but anyways, guys, we've got one fridge left over here. What should we put inside of this one? Um, we have food. We should put in drinks. And, ooh, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. We gotta put some drinks in there to uh, gobble down the food with. Okay, hold on a minute. What about we do some, like, speed potions and stuff? Okay, we can do that. We can grab, like, all of the good potions. We can have some speed potions. We can have some, ooh, leaping potions. Can we put in some milk? Can I put some Formula Y? Uh, whoa, 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 wait, what? Okay, we can, yes to the milk, but what did you just say, Kim? Look, it's in the fridge. Formula Y. What is Formula Y? Wait, hold on. Let me splash this on you real quick. Ah, what the heck is going on? Whoa. Oh, no. I didn't think I was going to do that. Why is it making those sounds? Is it a type of protein shake or something? Um, I don't know. But, guys, I think our fridge is now forever going to be cursed. What was that? It's a it's a fruit smoothie. You just can't throw it on the ground like that sometimes. That was not a fruit smoothie. That had something in it. But uh, let's let's take all of those out. I'm just going to uh, get rid of these really carefully. How about we just have a few normal potions in here? Like, you know, potions of leaping and uh, potions of fire resistance. All that sort of good stuff. Oh, what about this thing. Oh, wait, what thing? What is that? Whoa, what the, the goblet? What is this? I have no idea, but it looks kind of delicious, doesn't it? What the, okay, well, this is pretty cool. Hold on, let me try drinking it real quick, and ooh, that actually tastes kind of good, not gonna lie. It kind of tastes like a green smoothie. Ooh, put that in, put that in! All right, it's going in, let's go! Guys, how do you feel a great chalice? Uh, what, uh, what is a great chalice? Yo, what is this? That's a big cup, dude. It looks like a cauldron, but made out of copper. I'm trying to fill it, nothing's working. I've tried water, I've tried poison, I've tried lava. Wait, hold on. It says offer the chalice great essence. Okay, I think we need to offer it great essence. What is that? I don't know. Hold on. Let me search. Yo! Wait, check it out. It's filling up. Ooh. We got some green juice in there, but <laughs> wait, Cam, what, what, what is this for again? Oh, so I can fill the goblet. And, oh, wait, hold on. We have to use this thingy to fill up the goblets? Okay, okay. That's pretty cool. How about we just go ahead and have a chest next to this with a bunch of these great essences for whenever we need to refill it. And all right, there we go. Let's go. This is the best juice ever. Yeah, I don't even know what's inside of it. I guess it's just all made out of great essence, but hey, it tastes pretty good. Um, but what are we missing in our kitchen? And wait a minute, guys, we're missing uh, the kind of like a very important thing. We don't have a table to sit down and eat. Oh, true. And ooh, guys, why don't we build one of these fancy tables over here? Check this thing out. This thing looks super fancy, but uh, wait, the table doesn't like connect to each other. Okay, how about we use a different type of table? Yep, I'll make a kitchen island right here too. Ooh, all right, all right, that sounds pretty cool. Let me see, what type of table could we use though? Um, ooh, wait, hold on, this one looks kind of cool. Oak glass table. What about this? Oh, yeah, that does look pretty sick. All right, all right. I guess we can go with that. Let's just go ahead and make a nice looking table here like that. And then we also need to grab some chairs. What type of chairs should we use? I'm just going to use these blossom ones. Mm, I'm going to go for a magenta cushioned chair. What, guys? No yellow froggy chairs? Wait, the froggy chairs are so cute. <laughs> they got eyes and a mouth. Uh, Cam, what are, you, are you beating up on the chair over there? Why is the chair alive? I don't know. It's a weird chair. And, oh, oh, wait, it looks like it's spinning around. What the heck? Uh, we should get rid of that chair. That's freaking me out. I think that chair is cursed. Let's just use non-alive chairs. Aww. Yeah, uh, here's a chair for you, and here's a chair for Dash, and here's a chair for me. And wait, we're really going with the, the, the froggy chairs? Oh, no. I thought that's what you wanted, dude. This feels like it's a little kid table that's like a, a, like a little kid food area. Okay, I guess you just hate froggy chairs then. How about we use some more uh, sophisticated looking chairs? Yeah, check it out. We got a big boy chair. Uh, no way. I'm keeping my froggy chair. Alright, well, I'm gonna stick with this oak chair. It looks pretty cool. Alright, but anyway, I think that's about everything we need in the kitchen. We got the chairs, we got the ovens, and we've even got a bunch of stuff inside of our refrigerators. Let's go! See some of that. Uh, let's see, what else can I put down? Uh, ooh, I don't know what this is, but that looks cool. And wait, well, hold on. What are you doing over here in the corner? Whoa, wait, are you just putting down decorations here? Yeah, I've got a bunch of this random stuff, so I'm just gonna put it down. I'm gonna put down some trash cans and some candles. Okay, okay, that's looking pretty cool. But anyways, guys, I, I, I think we've got enough stuff in the kitchen. What should we build next inside of our secret base? Hmm. Well, we need another floor filled with something, but I don't know what. Wait a minute, guys. Why don't we actually build that gaming lounge that we had in the old house? We can build it, like, next to the kitchen. Oh, okay. Um, so, like, this way? Wait, wait, wait. I was thinking this way over here. What we could do is have the gaming lounge be, like, a bl big blob of glass in the water so we can have a cool view. Oh, true. That would be awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What we gotta do is dig it this way over here real quick. We gotta go deeper into the water. And Oh, no, guys. There's water, but it's fine. We just gotta deal with it for now. Okay, let's go. Yeah, yeah I'm 
putting a wall so we don't damage the kitchen. All right, all right. And here, the next step is to put a bunch of glass over here like this. Wait, this is a pretty goaded place for a gaming setup. Oh, yeah. This is going to be the most crazy gaming setup ever. It's going to be deep underwater. And I like how we can see over the cave, too. That's awesome. Ooh, yeah. That is pretty sick. But hold on. We should just build it right here on top of the cave. Let's go ahead and start extending the floor a little bit. Okay. Uh, how big should we make this place? We don't need to make it too big. We just need enough room to fit a TV, a mini fridge, and a few couches. So here, I think this should be big enough. Now, let's go ahead and start putting down the walls. Let's go. All right, I'm over here working on the tunnel. It's looking pretty sick. Ooh, all right, all right. This whole house is actually looking awesome when I look back at it. That house seller guy had no idea what he was selling us. Oh, yeah, that house seller guy thought that this was going to be a bad piece of land. This land is awesome. But wait a minute, wait a minute. Speaking of the house seller guy, the Dash, how did you meet him? Oh, so pretty much I just wanted to buy a house, right? So I saw this random guy on the street. His name was house seller. So, you know, I thought it was a perfect fit. Um, okay. Did you not do any research on him or anything? Like, has he sold any houses before? I don't know. He probably sold a house before. Why would his name be house seller if he hasn't sold any houses before, Cam? I don't know. His parents chose the name. Yeah, that would be kind of weird. Why would his parents choose the name house seller? I don't know. Why did your parents choose Dash? They could have chose something different. Yeah, but Dash is like a name. The house seller is like two words. Who knows, sir? There's some weird parents. All right, all right. But anyways, this gaming setup room is looking pretty good. Let's just go ahead and build the same type of dome ceiling again. Let's go. Okie dokie. Our house kind of looks like a bubble underneath the water. Yo, yeah, if you look at it from the right angle, it kind of looks like a bubble. I dig it. I like it. All right, all right, but here, we're almost done with this room. Let's just go ahead and finish up the roof. There we go. And now it's sponging time again. Everyone grab a sponge. We gotta slurp up all this water. Let's go. Just like that. I, I gotta go slow. No, you're just spamming them. Wait, it doesn't matter how fast you go. Oh, wait, there's some more water here. That's why you gotta sponge it all. And ooh, this tunnel is looking awesome. Yeah, I made it look super cool. Let's go. But anyways, now that we got this big room over here done the next thing we got to do is recreate that gaming lounge so first things first we got to grab a tv so let's see what type of tv should we use <gasps> yo what about this 8k neo oled tv this thing looks awesome what put that on a tv stand all right, all right hold on let's go ahead and find a tv stand really quick uh i guess we can just build a tv stand out of some wood slabs or <gasps> wait why don't we build it out of some copper slabs so that we can match the theme of our house okay let's do that yeah yeah, yeah. everything can be like copper themed because we're underwater let's go ahead and just put a little bit of copper down like that and then we can put some slabs on top like that and then we can finally put down the tv yo that looks sick Ooh, okay all right but anyways the next thing we need are a few couches so let me go ahead and grab some of those uh let's use some purple ones because you know those are the best color let's put a few of those down there whoa Wow, what are you saying whoa to? Whatever you're doing, brother, and purple is not the best color. Why? No, it's going to be perfectly fine. Let's just put down some purple seeds over there. Whoa, are you breaking the chairs? What the? Yep, we're going to do one purple, one yellow, and then let's grab the final color. Uh, let's see. See, where is the magenta couch? Oh, okay. Wait, we're going to do all of our colors. Okay, fine, fine. I guess we can go with that. That looks pretty cool. But wait, hold on. I want to go in the middle. The best view is in the middle. Fine, Ned. You can go in the middle. Let's go. All right. But anyways, the next thing we need for our TV is a device to power it. So why don't we just go ahead and grab this Xbox real quick? We can put that over there. And then, ooh, let's also have a mini fridge down here. We kind of have a mini fridge in every single room. We're going to have like snacks everywhere. Ooh, I have another idea for the TV. Wait, wait. What is it? We can put down a sound bar. Ooh. Let's go. Yo, that looks awesome. Yep. Now we can listen to it in HD for our ears. Let's go. This place actually looks sick. But wait a minute, guys. We do have a little bit of space back here that we aren't doing anything with. We should build something over here. Mm, yeah, you're right. Oh, like what? Mm, let's see. Let's see. What could we build back here? Ooh, what if we just make a, a, a giant chest full of launch gel? Uh, 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 a what, floor? I said a giant chest that we fill with launch gel. What even is launch gel? What does this do? That sounds kind of suspicious, Cam. But wait, wait, hold on a minute, guys. I think I might have a cool idea. Why don't we build a little hole that goes out into the ocean, and then we could use this in case we want to go swimming? Uh, next to our electronics? I don't think so. No, 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 here, it could be cool. What we could do is grab a little bit of glass, and then we could build, like, a little glass pane wall separating these rooms. Oh. Okay. Yeah, 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 this could be pretty awesome. Let's just go ahead and have a little bit of stained glass over there. This way, our electronics won't get wet, but we'll be able to go out in the water in case we want to. So, uh, here, I guess we should also probably grab a trap door so that the water doesn't, like, come up and spill on us. Yeah, that would make me feel a lot safer. We can make this hole a little bit smaller, and then let's just have one trap door over there like that. And, ooh, okay, that's looking pretty good. Now we gotta grab some scuba diving gear. I was just thinking about that. Here, everyone, let's go ahead and grab an armor stand, and what we gotta do is put down armor 
armor stands for each of us over here on the wall. All right, guys, I'm ready to drop in. But Cam, you're going in with the skateboard? What? Yeah, 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 I'm going to shred this half pipe. All right, have fun. There you go. Uh, what? Woo! Oh, I me off. I don't think you can skateboard underwater. That's so boring. All right, but anyways, guys, I put that armor stance for each of us over here. And now we got to find some good scuba diving armor. So uh, let's see. I'm just going to search up armor real quick. And all right, well, well, what is good? What could we use for scuba diving gear? Let's see. <gasps> what about this ocean stuff? Wait, what ocean stuff are you talking about? Uh, uh, it's called like ocean armor. Let's see. There's an ocean helmet. There's an ocean body, an ocean undersuit, and an ocean leg guard. Whoa. Wait, ocean armor? Hold on a minute. This stuff actually looks awesome. Whoa. Oh, okay. I, I I guess this could work. Okay, let's do that then. And I'm gonna put down some pool floaties too. Wait, what? Pool floaties for scuba diving? <laughs> okay, fair enough. Wait, how are we gonna fit those through the trap door? Uh, we'll figure it out. All right, but whoa. Okay, this room is actually looking awesome. This looks like a beach room. Okay, here's your towel. Here's my towel. Here's Cam's towel. Yo, we got towels. Let's go. But oh, wait, guys, we should also have a shower down here to you know wash off all the seawater. Oh, true. Here, here, here. Let me go ahead and grab a dispenser and a what a bucket. Why? What I said a water bucket. No, you didn't. No, 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 no. You said whoa, 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 whoa. No, I said a water bucket. What are you talking about? Ah, uh, yeah, no, no, no. You said whoa, 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 whoa. I literally said water bucket, dude, but hold on a minute. Let's just go ahead and build the shower area right over here. Let's just dig out a little bit of space like this and then just fill it all in with some spruce wood. Actually, yeah, there we go. That's looking pretty good. And then we can put down the door for it right over there like that. And finally, let me go ahead and build a roof for it real quick. There we go. All right, the shower is pretty much done. Now I just got to add a dispenser with some water here. Why are you making it so complicated? Well, I gotta make it a functional shower, okay? And then we also gotta have a lever there. And all right, check it out. The shower area is now complete. Let's go. You can take a shower, and then when you're done, you can flick the lever, and the shower will be complete. Let's go. I think that looks great. Yep, this place is sick. All right, but anyways, you guys wanna go for a quick dive? We haven't really explored the outside of our base yet. Oh, yeah, I'm ready. I'm all suited up. Okay, let's go. Let's go. All right, well, here, let me go ahead and grab a set of my armor as well. Let me just grab some of this stuff here real quick. And all right, I'm ready as well. You guys ready to drop in? I'm first. Let's go. Let's go. Here, let's just go ahead and open up the trap door real quick. Boom. And whoa. Wait, hold on a minute, guys. I think this armor gives us cool effects underwater. I've got speed, conduit power, and haste. Oh, yeah, I've got speed three. Wait, does this mean we can swim faster? Yo, I'm pretty sure this armor is actually awesome. And whoa, guys, check it out. This water goes very deep. This cave is like so big. There's so much to explore here. Yeah, okay. We are definitely not going to get bored exploring out here. This new house is awesome. Whoa, the deep sea divers. Whoa, okay, okay, but hold on a minute. I think we should probably head back. I'm not sure if anyone brought any oxygen tanks. I didn't, but if you stand on the magma, you can get bubbles. Ooh, all right, and wait, guys, there's an air bubble up here that we can just breathe from. Let's go. Yep, I'm gonna put down some more magma around here just in case people need it. All right, that sounds like a cool idea, but anyways, let's go back up to our base real quick. I'm pretty sure it was up over here. Yep, there it is. Let's head back, boom, and all right. I think this room is pretty much done. We've got the scuba diving gear. We got our gaming lounge here on the other side. This place is awesome. Yeah, I love going for a swim and then gaming. Yep, same here. But anyways, guys, now that this room is done, hmm, what should we build next? Um, we don't have bedrooms yet. Do we need to do that right now? And, oh, yeah, you're right. We don't have bedrooms. And, uh, we also didn't have bedrooms in the old house. I guess this house is gonna be an upgrade. Let's build some bedrooms. Ooh, all right. Um, hmm, where should we put these things? Yeah, we don't have that much room right now. I think we're gonna have to build some more room if we wanna build bedrooms. Why don't we just go ahead and build a little tunnel digging out this way? We can build the bedrooms off over here. That sounds like a great idea to me. All right, let's do it. All right, just go out like this, and then I guess we can start making the dome here now. Wait, so how are we going to do this? Are we just going to have one big dome for all of our bedrooms, or are we going to have three separate domes? Why don't we all share a bedroom? Ooh, all right, yeah. I guess what we could do is just have one big dome and then build all of our bedrooms inside of it. But uh, anyways, let's build that big dome now. We don't have a lot of room over here to work with. I think we're going to have to clear some space. Yeah, all this sand's in the way. Here, let's just go ahead and get rid of some of this sand real quick. I'll start building the dome over here on this side. Okay, I'll fill this with glass. All right, all right. I'm just gonna build the dome around over here. This place is actually looking awesome. Here, Kim, I'll help you with this one. There's so much sand. We're almost done with the sand, though. We just gotta break a little bit more, and then the, the ravine over here doesn't have any sand in it. Mine! There we go. We're almost done. Hey, there we go. All right, now we just gotta fill in this dome with a bunch of glass. So, let's go ahead and fill in all of this floor with some glass. We're gonna get to look at seaweed all the time. Let's go! But wait a minute, guys. I just realized our whole base is kind of very fragile. If a single shark decides to ram into it really quickly, it could, like, destroy the whole thing. I don't think there's going to be sharks this close to shore. And Yeah, okay, okay. I, I think we should be good. We're really close to shore right now. You're right. And besides 
it's it being this pretty is really important. All right, all right, fair enough. But anyways, it looks like the dome is pretty much done. And now we got to start building the walls for it to actually turn it into a dome. Okay, let's just build this side up like this. Let's just go ahead and build the walls going up a little bit like this. And then once we get high enough, we can start building it going inwards so that we can have a dome looking shape. Okay, yeah, let's make our bedroom kind of high so it's roomy. Yep, this place is going to look awesome. Here, I'm working on the second layer of the walls right now. How tall are we going to make this second layer? Just two blocks tall? Yeah, two blocks tall. All right, all right. We can have the second layer be two blocks tall. Let's go. We just got to fill in the walls like that. And then I guess we can have the next layer be uh, two blocks tall as well. Yeah, yeah, we can just have it go two blocks tall until it gets like to the surface. I am loving this. Let's go. This is looking sick. All right, there we go. The walls have been extended even more. Okay, okay. I think we should start narrowing in the walls a little bit now. Let's make one more layer of walls that's two blocks tall, and then we can top it off at the end. Okay. So there we go. And then now let's go ahead and just top it off over here with one flat layer. And okay, let's go. This thing is looking sick. We got our very own dome. Now it's sponge time. Let's go. All right, sponge time again. Everyone grab some sponges. We got a lot of sponging to do this time. Yo, we got to sponge fast enough before the water comes back if we just work from the top down it's a lot easier than just spamming them we got this we got this we just gotta keep sponging come on let's go we gotta beat the water all right there we go we're done let's go all right now we gotta get rid of all the sponges oh no i just left some water and uh, we have a leak oh, okay there we go i fixed it how could you do that you should be fine for now all right, all right but anyways let's just work on clearing out all these sponges over here real quick there we go and all right i think the dome is done let's go this place is awesome and oh guys i have a cool idea why don't we build the bedrooms on different floors dibs on having the top floor. Level the bottom floor. All right, well, I guess I get the middle one. So do I get this floor or Ruby, are you going down? Wait, hold on. There's not really a lot of room for a middle floor here. How about you guys just share the bottom floor? Oh, I'm okay with that. Do you want a bunk bed, Cam? <gasps> Wait, that's sick. We're going to bunk bed and Dash is going to be all alone. Let's go. Yeah, but guys, I'm going to be at the top. I'm going to be able to see all the fishies. Yeah, well, we're going to have bunk beds, which are way cooler than fishes. I don't know about all that. Hopefully you don't get lonely up there, Dash. Guys, I'm not going to get lonely. I'm going to have a lot of uh, friendly fishy companions. Opinion. Wait, Ruby, do you want top or bottom bunk? I call bottom bunk. Why do you want bottom bunk? Isn't top bunk better? No, bottom bunk is cozy. All right, if you say so. But anyways, I just finished building my floor up over here. Now what I gotta do is grab some ladders and we gotta connect the floors together. So here, let me just go all the way out over here on this side of the wall. And let me just dig in a little bit. Just like that. There we go. And then finally, let me go ahead and dig down over here and then put down the ladders. Yo, let's go. This is looking awesome. How's it going down here, guys? And ooh, all right, this bunk bed's looking pretty cool. Wait, no, why are you building the stairs like that? So I can get to my bed? Yeah, no, but I thought you wanted to put it one block out for more space. What are you doing? Wait, 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 hold on a minute. Isn't it kind of cramped over here on your bed, Ruby? How are you supposed to fit down there? Uh... Through sheer willpower and the power of bunk beds. Uh, that seems kind of uncomfortable, but hey, uh, the, whatever you like. All right, but anyway, it's time for me to make my bedroom now. Let me go ahead and grab a purple bed. Ooh, this is going to look awesome. And then also, I'm going to grab a few of these crimson slabs. And all right, I'm just going to build my bedroom off over here to this side. Let me just put down some crimson blocks over here like this. And let me put down three beds over here. I'm going to have a really big bed. And then let me put a little bit of crimson blocks around over here on the sides. And ooh, this is is looking awesome. Well, let me grab a few crimson fences real quick. And what I'm going to do is just put some crimson fences in each corner of the bed going up like this. Yo, this is looking sick. Let's go. This bed is awesome, guys. What do you think of my bed? And uh, Cam, what are you doing here? Uh, nothing. Don't worry about me. Why are you putting a sign? What are you going to put on this sign? Uh, nothing. And what? Dash, your bed is huge. Yeah. And wait, if you are reading this, I'm not even going to finish reading that. What is that? What was the point of that? Uh, I, I, I didn't think you were going to turn around that soon. I thought I could prank you. What? Okay. Well, uh, Anyways, yeah, my, my bed's pretty cool, but hold on a minute, guys. We're gonna need to have some other stuff in a bedroom other than just beds. We need to have, like, I don't know. What, what, what do people have in their bedrooms usually? Um, maybe, like, their hobbies and stuff? And, ooh, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. All right, well, uh, what are my hobbies? What do I like doing? Um, <gasps> Ooh, I know what I like doing. I really like shooting crossbows. Okay, yeah, that works. I'm gonna build a crossbow target practice area. Uh, inside of your bedroom, though? Yeah, yeah, this is like one of my favorite hobbies. Oh, okay. It just seems like a pretty uh, exercise-y hobby to put in your bedroom. What else am I gonna do in my bedroom? Read, maybe? Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. Reading is also a pretty good hobby. Let me go ahead and just uh, grab a few bookshelves, and uh, I'll put a few of those next to my bed like that. There we go. Yo, this bedroom's looking awesome. We got the books, and we got the target practice. Here, let me just finish up the target practice, though. Let's put some fences over over here like that and then let me grab a chest with a bunch of arrows and i'm just gonna put that down right over here yo i'm gonna have a lifetime supply of arrows in here let's go here, i'll also put a few crossbows over here at the top so i never run out of those either and let's go i've got my very own target practice room underwater this is 
awesome! Okay, now our bed has some comfy, cozy carpet around it. Anyway, you're still working on the bed? Oh, wait, you're adding carpet? That seems like a cool idea. I'm gonna do the same. Well, I'm working on the bed. Cam's working on, uh, something. What are you doing? What the? What is that? Don't worry about it. Is that a Nintendo Switch? No. What, what is this area supposed to be? Magic. Don't worry. Don't come near it. Uh, what? Uh, he just put down danger signs, huh? Ruby, I think you picked a bad roommate. No, I didn't. Uh, Cam, stop being weird. I'm not being weird. He's literally doing magic in the bedroom. What is this? I'm just covering the secrets of the universe. Oh, gosh. All right, well, here, I'm just gonna put down a few carpets on my bedroom over here. Ooh, this is looking awesome. I'm gonna put a few carpets going down like that. Let's go. I'm gonna put down some bookshelves. Ooh, yeah, yeah, bookshelves are a good idea, but hold on a minute. I kind of want to make my targets over here a little bit nicer. What could I do to make them, I don't know, cooler? <gasps> Wait a minute. I think I have an idea. Let me grab a few dispensers real quick and some gunpowder. Wait, what are you doing? Don't worry about it. I'm just gonna grab some paper also and a little bit of uh, purple dye. Uh, that sounds kind of suspicious. What, what do you mean suspicious? I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm just gonna make a few firework stars real quick, and then let me just uh, put this stuff inside of the crafting table like that, and there we go. I got some firework rockets. All right, how do these things look indoors? Let me see it. Yo, that looks awesome. All right, now let me just put a dispenser next to each one of my targets, and then inside, I'll put a bunch of purple fireworks. There we go. Go, that's looking good. And all right, now whenever I go over here and hit one of these targets, it should give me a cool celebration effect. Whoa, wait, what the heck? You can send fireworks like that way? I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't want it to shoot the firework at me. I thought it was just gonna shoot up. Whoa, what in the world? Uh, what's going on up there? Oh, uh, uh, not, not, nothing, nothing's going on up here. Hold on, I think what I need to do is just break that. I need to have the dispenser pointing upwards like that. I don't want the firework to shoot at me. I just want it to like go up and look cool. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Better yet, what I could do is put the dispenser behind the target block that way the dispenser will be hidden there we go Ooh, all right all right this is looking pretty awesome all right here now let me just go ahead and test this out let me just pull back my crossbow and all right target take this and <gasps> yo that looks awesome every time i hit the target it gives me a bunch of like purple sparks that looks sick uh what am i hearing upstairs oh really nothing those are just my firework targets you what oh nothing i just got fireworks inside you know for a nice little celebration effect and it can... what is that is that a bat statue why is it so big it's called a bat plushie whoa wait hold on a minute that's actually kind of cool. What if I place it going this way like that? This is going to be my, um, you know how, like, some houses have, like, heads of animals on the walls? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is going to be my version of that. I'm just going to have it over here next to my bed. Yo! This looks sick. I can use it as a target if I feel like it. Oh, and you can also have these next to your bed like this. Check this out. And, uh, well, what, well, what in the world is that Steve statue? I don't I don't really want a Steve and Alex statue. I think I'll pass on those. Well, you're lost, buddy. Those ones look kind of creepy, I'm not going to lie. But anyways, I think my room over here is just about done. Wait, actually, no, it's not. Hold on. There's one thing I need inside of my room, and that is a heavy crossbow. I'm just gonna put it on top of my bed over there. Yo, there we go. Now my room's done. <laughs> that looks awesome. Now, if there's any enemies that walk into my room, they're gonna get obliterated by my heavy crossbow. Here, let me test it out against a zombie real quick, because it's gonna work it. <laughs> Yo, that is sick. Why, why do you have a turret in your room? What? That's not a turret. It, it's just one of my hobbies. It's a heavy crossbow. That is okay. Well, uh, no more going up to Dash's room. <laughs> what? No, it, it's safe for you guys to come in. It's only in case you're if you're a zombie, then it's gonna take you out. I don't know about that. That. I'll just stay down here where it's cozy. All right, if you say so. But anyways, I think now that that's done, my room is complete. Hold on. I want to check out what you guys have in your room. And whoa, okay, you guys have built a lot of stuff down here. Wait, can you guys give me a tour? Oh, sure, we can. Ooh, all, right, all right, well, where do we start? I've already seen the bed area, but hold on. Let's check out this area. What is this? Um, This is my little study area. Ooh, that's pretty cool. You have a lot more books than I do. I don't have as many as you. Yeah, Um. Uh, so I can just put them down here and pick them up and sit down right there and read all I want. Whoa. Whoa, that's awesome! I don't know what Cam has going on over there, though. And yeah, wait, hold on, Cam. Can you give me a tour of your area? What is all this? I see you got some books here as well. These are my tomes where I read ancient spells, and these are my resources where I craft those ancient spells. What the? And here's the workstation where I I, I, I use the ancient spells, and uh, here's the Among Us trash can that I found. <laughs> oh, I, dude's a wizard. Oh, no. Wait, I like these flower pots. I'm gonna take these. Oh, you might want to be careful. If you place them the wrong way, they explode uh, 40 times. What? <laughs> what in the world? Oh, no, dude's really into it. But anyways, now that we got the bedrooms done, hmm, is there anything else we need to build in our base? And <gasps> wait a minute, guys. We don't have any 
washrooms in here? Actually, wait, we kind of do. We kind of have a little washroom hole right over here. I was about to say, we've got a washroom all around us. Uh, you Gross. Okay, okay, wait. Actually, yeah, I guess that is a little bit gross. It's kind of just like out here in the open with all this glass. We should probably build an actual washroom, but uh, hmm, where should we build it? Maybe close to the kitchen? Okay, okay, we could do it close to the kitchen. <gasps> wait, what about right here? There's like a little area we can dig out. Okay, okay, yeah, this area is looking pretty good. I like it. Yeah, sure, let's do it here. We'll just clear out a little bit of space here real quick and oh gosh, this washroom is gonna be kind of cramped. We don't have a lot of room to work with. That's okay. Washrooms don't need to be that big. Here, okay, let's go ahead and set the floor into some quartz blocks. We got to make this washroom look fancy and whoa what are those these are um az azalea tables but i think they look nice wait tables as the floor why don't we just use like azalea blocks i don't know if there are any there are look oh wait they're, they're, they look kind of weird though yeah i don't know about that okay okay let's stick to the tables we could just put down a bunch of these uh tables on the floor like this it, it looks pretty cool i guess no one will know yeah yeah no one's gonna know that there's tables on the floor but anyways let's go ahead and extend this room a little bit we gotta make this room a little bit bigger here we go this is looking pretty good yo guys check it out we kind of have like a pattern going on the floor we got like some of these tables going that way and then we got some going this way and then ooh yeah that looks sick i really like it all right but anyways do you guys think this washroom should be big enough yet uh yeah i think this is big enough now we can start on the walls all right let's go and whoa what in the world are we setting the walls into what is this they're called ebony planks they look sick i've never seen these ever in my life i like them i guess we can use those and okay guys now the last thing we need is a toilet let me go ahead and grab one of those and we can just put that down right over there and ooh let's also have a flush we can have a lever for the flush over there. And all right, guys, now we only need one last thing. We need to have a hopper to uh, transfer the waste from the toilet into the ocean. What? We're putting it in the, in the ocean? Yeah, but where else are we going to put it? Um, I don't know. Maybe uh, that guy's neighborhood? Ruby, this house was so cheap. I don't think it came with a proper uh, toilet disposal system. Yeah, so if it didn't, then the house owner should deal with that problem. We're the house owner. We bought it. Oh. But anyways, guys, check it out. I've got a hopper going out from the toilet over here into the ocean. This should be pretty good. No one's even going to notice. All right. Right, I guess. Yep, I just covered it all up with sand. We are all good, but hold on a minute. I'm making my way back inside. Let me just go ahead and cover this area up with some sand real quick, and uh, let me just go back into the house. All right, guys, any updates on the toilet? How's it looking so far? Pretty cool, if you guys say so. And what What in the world is all this? Why do we have so many weird mob decorations? What are you talking about? Dash, move. I have to make the toilet paper holder. Uh, the toilet paper holder? What the? Okay. Just like this. Uh, wait, wait, wait. We're going to build it like that. Hold on. Can we just get like an actual... T oh, we can't get an actual toilet paper holder. Hold on. How about we have this in the wall at least? You can have it over here like that. There we go. That's a lot better. Okay. Yeah, I do think that's kind of better. All right. All right. But anyways, hold on. We got to deal with this uh, situation now. We cannot have all of this stuff in the washroom. This is going to scare anyone who uses the washroom. <laughs> Chill, chill, chill. It's not that big of a deal. Yes, it is. It was my decorations. Your decorations were gonna scare the poop out of me. Exactly. That's the point. We're in a bathroom. Yeah, but I don't want that to happen like that. Those decorations are horrible. Okay, hold on. We need to have some better decorations. I guess what we could do is keep the snowman. That, that one looks kind of friendly, but we, we gotta lose the other ones. What in the world is this? A magma monster? No. Yeah, that is freaky. And wait a minute. Before we even start thinking about decorations, guys, we don't even have a sink in here yet. We need to deal with that stuff first. We need to have a sink and a countertop and, you know, all that sort of stuff. Wait, you guys actually use the sinks in bathrooms? Yo! Oh, yeah, I'm staying away from you, Cam. And what in the world is that? I don't know. Here, let's just go ahead and have a few of these countertops and sinks over here. Wait, Ruby, can you move real quick? Just gonna put a countertop over here. There we go. I have an idea for some decorations. Uh, let's just uh, use this and let's use this. Whoa, what is that? A mutant blaze core? What? I have no idea what it is, but it looks kind of pretty. I think Cam is rubbing off onto you. You're starting to put mutant blaze cores everywhere. Ooh, we could also put a candy bag next to the toilet for, you know, like if you if you actually make that it. That is in. disgusting. Okay, guys, I, I think we just uh, call it done. I think this should be good for the bathroom. Let's just go ahead and add a door and then I think that should be it. Yep, everything's done. Now everybody get out. I'll put down some flowers. Okay, okay, fine. I guess we could have a few flowers, but Cam, what is that on your hand? Nothing. Was that an Enderman candle? No. Why do you have the weirdest decorations ever? Yeah, get out. You're banned from the bathroom. Cam, get out of the bathroom first. Go. Get out. Okay, well, I've got to use it, so come back out. Okay, whatever. Oh, gosh. He's going to make the bathroom look horrible. Yeah, he is. I think we should kick him out of the house. Mm, I don't know. Let's just give him another chance. <laughs> And, uh, uh, wait, is he actually using the bathroom cam? Are you getting there? Um, I'm gonna go. Yeah, yeah. Let's 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 get out of here. Let's leave him to it. He can have that bathroom to himself. I don't care. <sighs> Phew, I'm done with the bathroom now. And oh gosh, all right, hold on a minute. Let's see. What have you done to the bathroom? Uh, nothing. I'd give it 10 to 15. Oh, what the heck? Oh no, dude's got soul skulls and Enderman paper lanterns. What the heck is all this? Ew! 
Let's just go ahead and repair the bathroom real quick. If we ever have any guests over here, we gotta make sure to do a bathroom check before they arrive. Hey, but good news, guys. Uh, there's no more ghosts in the house. What? Cam, okay, I think Cam's getting a little bit too much into this wizard stuff. I don't know. Oh, no. I, my poop was just so stinky that it killed all the ghosts. I don't think we can have guests over. Uh, but anyways... There wouldn't be a way for a guest to get in here anyways. And, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, you're right. We don't even have an entrance over here. Okay, guys, what are we doing? We need to have an entrance. And, ooh, I have an idea for what we could do. How about we just have a tunnel going this way that leads up to the outside? Oh, like an elevator? Yeah, yeah, kind of, kind of. But just like a tunnel that goes out over here. Let me just go ahead and build a little bit of glass over here like this. There we go. That's looking pretty good. And then we just got to dig into the wall a little bit. Okay. And hold on a minute. We got some water down here. Let's, uh, let's break all that. There we go. And now let's just dig into the wall over here a little bit. And I'm pretty sure right about now, if we just dig straight up, we should get up to land. And <gasps> yes, okay, perfect. Let's go a little bit farther, actually, so that we can have a little bit more land. So there we go. And then finally, now, if we dig all the way up, perfect. We can build a ladder going up here. Okay, wait, I have an idea. Wait, what is it? Give me one second to try it out. All right, all right. Well, here, I'll just build a ladder. I'm also going to put a trap door up over here like that so that we know where the house is. Let's go. Okay, okay. It works, it works. Wait, wait, what, what, what did you do? Okay, I need you to uh, fill the entire elevator with water. What, fill the entire elevator with water? What are you talking about? Just trust me. Uh, okay, wait, by elevator, do you mean like the ladder area? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let me just grab some water real quick and just fill this whole thing up with some water. Boom, there we go. Alrighty, and let's put this down here. And, <gasps> whoa, wait a minute. I know what you're doing. Oh, that's actually a really good idea. Yep. Just like that. Yo, we can have a water elevator to get up and down. <gasps> okay, hold on a minute. That's actually a really good idea. What we gotta do, actually, is just... Let's break this one over here first. Let's get rid of all of this water over here. There we go. And, okay, guys, what we gotta do is build two different elevators. We gotta build one on this side for getting up, and then another one on this side for getting down. Yep, we can do one side with soul stand and the other one with magma. Yep, exactly. Or, actually, I've got a better idea for the one to get down. Uh, which one is that? Is that gonna be on the right or the left? Uh, let's have the right side be for going down. Okay, awesome. So, let me... Let me just do one of these. And Cam, what are you doing? Uh, there we go. We've got it down. And oh, yeah. I guess we don't have to use magma blocks. We can just literally just have a single piece of water. I guess so, yeah. All right. But anyways, for the other side over here, we're going to need to have some soul sand. And what in the world is up with this floor? Why does it make me go so fast when I walk over it? Oh, it's candy blocks. I think it just gives you speed a billion. Why do we have candy blocks in the entrance? I don't know. They looked cool and they had yellow and purple. So I, I wanted to make it. All right. Fair enough. I guess we can use candy blocks for the entrance. But anyways, let's just go ahead and make this entire elevator area look nice for Real quick, I'm just gonna put down a bunch of sandstone blocks over here. Ooh, this area is looking pretty awesome. Let's set all of the walls of the elevator into sandstone. Yep, that looks pretty clean. And uh, I guess we should just fill it up with water now, then, huh? Yep, let's do it here. I'll start putting down the water. Here we go. All of the water has been placed. In. Yo, the elevator is elevating. Let's go. That is so sweet. Awesome. All right, now we just gotta decorate this place. Wait, decorate how? Let's just put down all of this sandstone here. And okay, I think this area should be done. Let's go. We got an end. Entrance and an exit. Hold on. We should probably put a trap door over here at the top just in case it starts raining or something. There we go. Yep. That was pretty awesome. Let's go. Yeah, but wait a minute, guys. Now that we can actually go up to the surface, uh, I have an idea. And wait, wait, you do? What is it? Well, we have this giant plot that we bought, remember? Yeah. What about it? Well, what I'm thinking is if we just search up boat real quick. Wait, wait, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Should we build a boat race course? Uh, yeah, 100%. <gasps> Let's do it. All right, all right. Yeah, this boat race course is going to be absolutely awesome. Okay, hold on. I know exactly how we can build this. Everyone grab a few fences. Let's go ahead and just build it out of some crimson fences. Is we can just build a start right over here. Oh, you're doing it that way? Wait, how else are we going to do it? Well, I've done a few boat races, and they've all had these, like, weird, like, circle things. To... Oh, yeah, hold on. We need the bobbers. All right, that's what they're called. All right, all right yeah, yeah, let's have one of those. We can have a, a bobber over there like that. I guess we can use the bobbers instead of these fences. I'm pretty sure they're called buoys, but, uh, yeah, bobbers is all right. Nah, I call them bobbers. Uh, okay. I like the name buoys. All right, all right, but anyways, let's go ahead and just build this race course real quick. Let's go ahead and have the next bobber be right over here. There we go, just like that. And then we can have the next one be over here. Wait a minute, we're allowed to build over here on top of the water, right? Uh, surely we are. There's no, uh, like, end to the plot. We paid, like, five whole diamonds for this place. Yeah, okay, just hopefully we don't get in any trouble. All right, well, I'm just gonna keep placing down these buoys. All right, all right you place down the buoys or bobbers, whatever they are. I'll put down fences around them just to make the race a little bit less confusing so that people know where they're supposed to go. I'll put down some, uh, planks on top of them, too. Ooh, all right. 
right, that's looking pretty cool. That way people can like walk over them and stuff. Yeah, in case they want to watch, you know? Yeah, yeah, there could be like spectators on there. But here, let's just go ahead and put down all of this fence over here like that. That's looking pretty good. And whoa, whoa, okay, slow down with the with the buoys. No, no, we need more buoys. <laughs> Why are you saying it like that? Yeah, did you just throw up in your mouth? <laughs> I think he's drowning. Save him. Oh, no, Kim, are you all right? <laughs> oh, no, he's gone. Actually, no, I think that's just how he is normally. All right, all right, but anyways, this race is looking pretty good. Whoa, Cam, you're making some wide turns here. You're in charge of the turns. You gotta make it so that it's, like, a, a good race. Yeah, if you make it too complicated, I'm not gonna be able to go in the race. It's not complicated, it's just wide. Okay, okay, but here, let's just put down a bunch more fences over here. This race is actually looking awesome. Once I'm done with those buoys, I'll help put down the fences. Why do you say the word buoy so weird like that? <laughs> Sounds like he's drowning every time he says it. I don't know, but I don't like it. Yo, wait, hold on. I'm looking at the racetrack from all the way up here. This is actually looking looking pretty good. Yeah, I know. I told you. I, I just need to place down some buoys. Do you like the green? I like the green. It looks pretty awesome. But wait, Cam, are you done with the buoys yet? Yeah, I'm done with the buoys. I've converted to saying buoys now. I, I, I've switched over from saying bobbers. Exactly. It's fun to say. It is pretty fun to say. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I sit and I stare in the mirror and just go buoy. You do seem like the type of person who would do that. That sounds kind of sad, dude. Hey, it's my passion. I like doing it. It's not a bad thing. It's normal. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I don't know about normal, but uh. I don't know about it either, but I just wanted him to feel better. You know? All right, all right. But anyways, I think the boat race is about done now. Let's go. We've got a whole track going from over here all the way back to here. Let's go. All right, all the buoys and the fences are down. So uh, I guess we'll help Ruby with this. All right, all right. But hold on a minute. While you guys are doing that, I'm going to build a few crucial things that we're going to need for a race. We need to have a finish line. Let me go ahead and grab a little bit of black and white wool. And whoa, okay. This finish area is kind of big. This finish line is going to be pretty long. I mean, that's fine. That makes it look cooler, right? I guess so. It'll make the race look cooler. But here, Let's just go ahead and have a few of these fence pillars going all the way up in the air. I'm going to have the finish line look, like, really cool. Good, good. Then I'll look super cool when I win. What? We'll see about that. I'm definitely going to be the one winning every time we race ever. I don't know about that one. All right, all right. But here, the finish line is looking pretty good. I'm just going to put a little bit of black and white wool going across like this. Hopefully, these two fence posts for the finish line line up together. So far, it looks like they're lining up uh, kind of decently. Uh, I guess we can have the next piece of wool be over here here and then the last piece over here and hey that looks not bad yo this place is looking sick that house seller guy might want to come back and buy this house from us once we're done and ooh, yeah you're right you're right we just made a big upgrade to this plot of land i'm pretty sure this is way cooler than any of those houses on the block over there oh yeah there's not a single thing like this on the market we're gonna charge a billion diamonds for it Ooh, yeah but wait we're not gonna sell it are we i've kind of got my uh my house my bedroom down there you know i got my crossbow there i still want to keep it no way we're not selling this place this place is too awesome let's go but anyway Anyways, guys, since the boat race is now complete, we gotta do a race. You guys ready to go down? Uh, are you ready to go down? I'm going to the starting line. Wait, Ruby, the, the finish line is over there. This is the starting line here. That's what I said. This is the starting line. Oh, oh are we starting at the, the first buoy? All right, let's do it. Oh, we're starting at the first buoy. Here, everyone, let's get lined up. And all right, everyone ready? I'm ready. Oh, wait, wait, are we going on go or one? Uh, let's go on one. Hold on, let me just get something real quick. And all right, let's go on three, two, one. Go, go, go. I'm in first place. I'm in first place. Go, 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 go. And hold on, wait. I got a fishing rod. I'm going to fish you back in lot. You can't use a fishing rod on a boat. Oh, no. I was going to try to cheat with this, but I can't even cheat. Watch a sick drift. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay, I'm literally in behind. Okay, come on. I need to come at least second place. I got this. I got this. Hold on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. No, 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 Ruby. You're in the lead right now. Yo, wait, second place. I, wait, hold on. Who won, who won that? It was Cam. I won it, but uh, I think you two tied for a second. Wait, wait, hold on, guys. I have an idea. I have an idea. What we got to do is grab some tripwire hooks and string, and we got to set up a system to detect who the winner is. Ooh, you want a rematch? Is that it? Ooh, yeah, yeah. We should do a rematch after this, but hold on. All we got to do is just put down a little bit of blocks over here like this, and then we got to put down a tripwire hook, and then we just got to put down a bunch of string. And we got to do the same over here on this side like this. We just got to put down a bunch of wood and then a tripwire hook. I'll get the string. I already got like half the string going. We just need to connect this side over here. Yep, that's what I'm seeing. Oh, we should put down some fireworks too. Yep, that's exactly what I was going to do. And hold on a minute. Now that we got both of these tripwires connected, we should be able to just connect the dispenser to it. Wait, hold on. Do we have these tripwires connected? Nope, I'm fixing it. Wait, wait, well, what's the problem? Well, wait, why do we have to build it over there? Uh, Because it doesn't work like diagonal. It's kind of weird. Oh, wait, you can't have tripwires go when, like, the string is 
bending. Ah, uh, okay. I guess that's kind of annoying, but hey, that works. Yep, and uh, yeah, see, it works. Look. Let's go. Let's go. Now the official finish line is going to be right over here, and the next thing we need to do is grab some dispensers and fireworks. And guys, hold on. I already have some fireworks. Let me go all the way over here and just grab some of these, and I'm just going to put these fireworks over here like this on top of the dispensers. And all right, guys, I think the finish line should be done here. Let's test it out real quick. Let me just go through this, and <gasps> yo, that looks awesome. It looks sick, but this dispenser's not working. Yeah, wait, hold on. I need to move it down a block there we go now it should work yo wait so now we can see whenever i win and uh, cam you're not gonna be winning but oh no there's a turtle in my boat what the heck i'm getting a new one. Oh, he wants to race with us turtle in the boat hold on a minute i'm gonna get this uh mangrove boat yeah hey you copied me but you got a mangrove boat okay okay hold on i'll get a different boat i'm gonna get the uh uh dark oak chest boat yeah now i got a boat with a chest all right well i'm about to beat you guys so are you ready yeah yeah but hold on wait wait hold on we gotta go to the finish line again or the start line yeah 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 all right, you guys ready? Let's go in three, two, one, go! Woo! Hold on a minute. I think I'm in the lead right now. Yo, let's go! Oh, wait, I just lagged back. What is going on? Let's go! Oh, no, I'm in last place again, but wait. Hold on. I can redeem myself. I got this. I got this. Get out of my way, Broby. I'm trying to take the inside. Oh, no. Okay, I'm going down. I'm going to lose again. Hold on. Yeah, I think Ruby won that one. Oh, no. Ruby, how do you keep winning these? I'm just really good at boats. What the? Oh, no. I think this chest boat was a bad idea. I think it weighed me down. Yeah, maybe it did. Uh, sucks to suck. Wait, wait, hold on, guys. What we should do is have, like, a little opening over here in the side of the boat race like that. And then we could also have another opening over here. That way, we can bring our boats around without having to, you know, take them out of the water. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea. Let's go. And, uh, what, Ruby, are you riding around on the pumpkin thing? What? Uh, yep. So I can get to the starting line easier. <laughs> what? Oh, it got stuck. Oh, no. How are we going to get it out of there? Whoa. Hold on. I think it went in the water. It's probably broken out. I think we're going to have to dump it in the ocean. What? My pumpkin. All right. But anyways, now that we've got the boat racetrack done, I think our house should be pretty much done. You guys want to go downstairs and play some games? Ooh, I'm getting on Roblox. Let's go. And all right, here. I'm just going to move my chair in a little bit. My chair is kind of uh, far away from my seat right now. Let me just move it in like that. And all right, let's go. It's gaming time. I'm going to watch some videos. Oh, let's go. I just beat up this noob too easy. Uh, knock, knock. Hello. Is anyone home? Wait, hold on, guys. Uh, I, I think we've got a visitor. What? Oh, what? Okay. Uh, let's go up. And, oh, it's the house seller guy. Hey there, house seller. Uh, thanks for selling us this plot of land. We really made a nice house out of it. What? did you guys do? What, 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 what did we do? You, you, why did you build so much? You, you didn't have this much space to build. Wait, what? Did, didn't we buy this entire plot of land? What are you talking about? No, you guys bought this singular block right here. Wait, what? We were only allowed to have one block? Yes. That wasn't marked at all. Why do you think it was five diamonds? Wait, wait, so what are we supposed to do now? We kind of just built this whole house. Well, you can either buy this plot of land for a thousand diamonds or get out. And, oh, no. Damn, I think we got kicked out again. Well, are you kidding me? Dash! I didn't know we only had one block. That was pretty crazy. And if you want to watch the next video, then click on the video on the screen right now.